each one of us throughout our lives wears different masks, different personas for the various occasions we find ourselves in. This is natural, and we all do it to an extent. Certain parts of your personality emerge when you deal with certain groups of people that may not emerge when you deal with others. Like, for a good example, how you act around your parents is different than how you act around your close friends, which is also different than how you act around your more distant acquaintance-style friends. Each of these situations and interactions requires a different face for you to wear. Certain parts of yourself that have varying degrees of quote-unquote protection, if you will. You don't show certain facets of yourself to people that have less trust, for example. Or there are certain pieces of your nature that are only shared with those people that have that trust because it's something that maybe you're a little more embarrassed about or it's something that perhaps you find to be intimate in some way. And all of this is normal. This is healthy. What this also does for you, though, is it gives you a tool to use. These masks we wear, these can be tailored, you see. Like, actors know this well, where they learn to wear the face of the character. They become the character. They wear him as a suit, if you will, a mask. Heath Ledger's Joker is a great example of this, where he wears the character perfectly. He is the character, and you believe it. He did not literally become the Joker, obviously. He wore the mask of that persona. He took that persona and applied it to himself in a meld where he was that idea. And we can all do this. If you want to deal with people that you haven't met before, you can alter... And I'm not... Okay, I need to make an important caveat here which is that I'm not saying lie to people or change who you are to such an extent that you are a falsehood or a fiction. This only will lead to you being revealed as what you really are and shunned, probably. What I am saying is that you can take parts of yourself that you know to be more objectionable out of context or perhaps not understood without getting to know you better and push them to the side. You can tailor yourself to be more presentable in a sense. I hate to put it so simply. It makes it sound like you're kowtowing to random people and changing who you are, which is another thing I do not advocate. It's knowing what to show to people and at what times. Not everybody needs to know all of you all the time or see all of you from the start. We are full of context as individuals. Things about ourselves are built around other parts of ourselves. And if you see a part of someone's personality without the proper context, this can lead to you misunderstanding who they are or other people misunderstanding who you are. Don't lie, but understand you and who you are and the fact that other people may not be initially tolerant or even aware of the things that are more of a fringe aspect to yourself or maybe even a core aspect but fringe to others. If you are afraid of being judged, you can... Don't lie. Once again, carefully I say this. Don't lie. But hold back on things, perhaps. Especially if you are feeling uncomfortable. You don't have to immediately tell people everything about yourself. You don't have to immediately open up your darkest secrets. You know, or express every part of who you are. Open up slowly. See if the person is worth trusting. This is partially a lesson on friendship here as much as it is masks. It takes time to know somebody, to get to know them, and to get a bond with them. And there are things, like I noted at the beginning here, that you would not share with somebody that is an acquaintance, that you would share with a friend. And knowing how to tailor yourself to that understanding, where you show things at the appropriate time where they can understand it with the right context, is an important and advanced social skill. It's like a book. To put it simply, you don't want to let the reader know everything at once. You want to have twists. You want to have interesting points to bring up later. You want to surprise occasionally. You want to be interesting, and this requires you not coming up to the person life story from the instant. If the first chapter is just you reading about, you know, the description of something or the guy did one thing, it's pretty boring. No, no, you, it comes at times at, with spacing. And this mask technique is quite simply an idea to help you with this. Just employ it in order to help you better understand other people and integrate with them. Just something to think about.